Well, uh, Fife Dog, he actually spoke about this era in Tribe Called Quest. He said that right around this time, he started to lose interest in the group. He said, I really felt like with Midnight Marauders, I came into my own. By the time when Beats, Rhymes, and Life came out, I started feeling like I didn't fit in anymore. Q-Tip and Ali had converted to Islam, and I didn't. Music felt like a job, and I was just doing it to pay the bills. I never wanted my music to feel just to be like a job. They would schedule studio time at the last minute. I'd catch a plane from Atlanta to be in New York. When I got to the studio, no one would be there. Then they would cancel the session without telling me. You know, it seems like the management were concerned with other folks and not me. So it seems like around that time, Fife kind of wasn't really gelling as well. I mean, well, yeah, definitely. Um, and the thing about that time period is that... Um, Fife and I actually wound up um, having a relationship. Um, and I know for a fact that, you know, an issue was me joining the group. Um, and, I could, and I've always said, like, me, I can understand definitely as a grown man now. Like, I can totally understand how that could make him feel. Um because, you know, if if I had if I had done what he had done, I would be territorial as well. Definitely, as far as decision making is concerned, and I think he and I wound up figuring things out once we just had the real conversations that we needed to have one up, right? Because me joining Tribe was a Q-tip decision and not a group decision. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, there's the family element, there's the element of me being a, a you know, being a, a draft, a, a high draft pick, if not the number one draft pick in the hood at the time. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't just nepotism. I, I've said it, you know, like I've had a legendary cipher where I got, the word got back and I actually had a deal on the table with Puff. At least not, not, it never got the paperwork because Q-Tip intercepted it and just said, yo, I'm putting you in a group. I just, I see you got a deal. Fair enough, good enough for me. I'm, let's go. Right? So, but he, I did get a verbal, I did get a verbal interest from, from Puff during the Big and Mac campaign that, uh, once Q after Q Tip had a meeting with him and played him this song called "Living It Up," that me and him did. He Puff wanted to pick up the project, so it. So Q Tip and I know that, but I don't know how much of that. I I probably will never know unless I just flat out ask him. I just don't know what he divulged to them, as far as the set setting the the things that led to it. I think. He obviously had a word with them and said, yo, son is not, he, yo, he nice. He going, yo, watch how he go, boom, 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 boom. And I did. And I lived up to what he said. So it couldn't be an argument. But then at the same time, it, it still doesn't stop it from feeling like an imposition. You know what I'm saying? Like, f feeling like I'm imposing. Um, and that's fair. That's more than fair. 